What's up guys, Power Maniac 720 here and I have for you today uh, a couple more battles from the Aorus in-game battle spot doubles ladder. Um, so today as you can see on the screen I am using Mega Mawile which is you know obviously arguably in VGC 14 the best Mega. Um, I haven't seen a lot of Mega Mawile lately although I still think it's a really good Mega in this format um, and I'm sure it'll pick up popularity as the season move, uh, progresses. Um, it's a Pokemon I've never really liked using. Um, I don't know why, I've just really never been a huge fan of it. Um, but I'm going to run it today. As you can see, I have a team of Mega Mawile, Gengar, Ludicolo, Politoed, Talonflame, and Meowstic. So, a uh, pretty standard, like, kind of rain mode with Mawile to kind of weaken those fire attacks, which is always really good for Mawile, um, since that's one of its big weaknesses. And of course, the rain also can hit ground types that threaten Mawile super effectively. Um, Meowstic's there to spam Thunder Wave so that Mawile cannot speed things. Talonflame has uh, Tailwind. And Gengar has will o -Wisp to hinder physical attackers. So I think this team should support Mawile really well. Um, so as we look for an opponent, um, my rating currently sits at 1680. I got disconnected from two matches last night because of the snowstorm in my area, which really sucks. Uh, so you see my first opponent is from Italy, Daki, with a 1715 rating. Um, as I always forget to turn on the music. It's a little loud. All right, so Daki's team is looking like Breloom, Suicune, uh, Kangaskhan, Heatran, Sylveon, and Landorus. So very standard team, um, except in a Breloom, I guess, isn't that standard, but it's still, you know, not too wacky. Um, so I'm looking, and I don't really see my opponent, I don't see my opponent having a good way to deal with Rain as a lead. Um, and Rain kind of threatens this team pretty hard, so I'm actually going to lead Ludico Ludicolo and Politoed. Um, I'm definitely going to bring a Mawile in the back, uh, because it beats Kangaskhan, uh, it beats Sylveon, I mean, that's pretty much it for what it beats, but I mean, it's really important to beat those two. Um, and I'm sure I can beat Suicune, I'm sure I can do a KO Suicune. For my last one, Meowstic isn't bad because I can charm three of the Pokemon and Thunder Wave five of them. Gengar's not bad to spread burn. I really wish I had a Taunter for that Breloom. Uh, Talonflame's not bad because I can spam Priority Brave Bird and set up a Tailwind. Although I don't know how much, how I don't think Tailwind's gonna be that important. Um, so Gengar and Meowstic, it's tough. Um, so Gengar gives me another way to deal with the Sylveon. It lets me hit the Breloom super effectively and possibly poison it. Meowstic also lets me hit the Breloom super effectively because I run Psy Shock on it. Um, I'm gonna go with. Oh, I can't decide. Uh, I mean, they both. I mean, Gengar just gives me a little more offensive presence, but I think my offense is pretty solid overall. I'm gonna go with Gengar. I think the offensive presence is gonna be pretty important. Um, so my rain lead's pretty obvious, I think. Um,. So I don't know what my opponents will lead to counter at. Probably Kangaskhan Landorus or something. Although that'd be pretty bad. I think I think we're definitely see Kangas. Probably Kangaskhan Suicune actually. As you see Suicune and Kangaskhan, because he's probably gonna try to set up a Tailwind now. So I don't really want Tailwind to be set up. Um. So I'm going to fake out Suicune, and I'm going to just Scald the Kangaskhan and go for a burn. Um, my Polyhood is Scarfed, so of course it will outspeed the Kangaskhan unless it, it Sucker Punches. Um, but I imagine, I imagine we're going to see a fake out onto Politoed, would be my guess. So then the question becomes, do I go for Suicune or Kangaskhan the next turn? But yeah, I'm guessing we're just going to trade fake outs. Unless he thinks he can outspeed Ludicolo and he goes for the fake out on Ludicolo. That's what he does. Wow. I don't know why he did that. That was a bad idea, I think. Picking up this burn here would be so huge. Nope. Alright, but good news now. So I can just Giga Drain Suicune and I can just once again scald the Kangaskhan and I will pick up the KO. And my opponent doesn't have any good switches with the exception of Breloom, but Breloom's so frail that that Skull's probably going to do a lot of damage to it. And it'll also break his, you know, most likely the Sash that he has. As I go for the Giga Drown on uh, Suicune, 
do back some damage. He probably thinks he's going to pick up the KO here on Ludicolo, because he probably doesn't expect me to be Scarfed. Um, because, of course, with the fake outs, he couldn't really tell. Although, oh, I missed a bit. Oh, good, he burned now. Thank God. Oh, I missed that KO. He's got Facade. Oh, my God. Wow. And Tailwind gets set up. Unbelievable. That is so unbelievable. I can't even... I, I am baffled that that just happened. I just burned a facade Kanga. Alright, so... I'm guessing Heatran didn't come to this matchup. I don't even know if Landers came to that matchup. What else did he have? Breloom. Breloom could come in. I'm just saying Gengar. So Breloom does come in. So what would be in the back? Either Landorus, Heatran, or Sylveon. I'm guessing Sylveon's in the back. I don't think he'd bring Landorus or Heatran to a rain matchup. Um, so I'm really tempted to just double into the, the Breloom. Oh, so... The issue here is Breloom outspeeds both my Pokemon because of Tailwind. I'm going to double into it though anyway with Sludge Bomb and Scald. Who's he going to Spore? Spores to uh, Gengar. So I almost protected with Gengar too, but I don't want to risk it. As Snarl comes out from Suicune, damn. That's not good. So picking up a burn here on the Breloom would be really nice. Definitely the killer was losing Ludicolo there, not picking up the KO on Kangaskhan. Uh, just because... Um, it means I lost Ludicolo, which was pretty much my best way to deal with Breloom, because I was just going to work for the Bullet Seed. Oh, two hits, two hits, two hits, two hits. Oh, two hits is going to kill me anyway. Um... It was my best way to deal with uh, Kangaskhan. Just be or Ludicolo was my best way to deal with Breloom because it avoids the. It can't be spored, um, so I could have picked up a nice KO there. But unfortunately, I burned a facade Kang like a KO. So um, it looks like this is going to be a match. Um, there's nothing I can really do except pray for early wake ups. So I really want to talk about this Suicune, but at the same time, that means I lose a turn of sleep. So I'm just going to go to sleep and hope I can wake up early. Uh, but my point can just scald and... Uh, yeah, see, my point can just spore, and that's just going to be scald and mock punch next turn. It will probably, probably knock me out. Scald this turn, then scald mock punch next turn. So it looks like Meowstic would have been the Pokemon to bring this match, because I could have brought it in and spanned Paralysis. Um, the rain stops, and the pet tail and Peter's out. So I'm just gonna play rough the Breloom again. But we're just gonna see a mock punch and a scald. He withdraws Breloom, so he's gonna save it just in case he needs it. Let's see who comes in here. Sylveon. Could be interesting if I get a turn one wake up here. With the crit. Crit was enough to knock me out. Alright, so that's game, because I obviously can't take out both of them. I don't even know the speed. So I'm just going to sucker punch Suicune and see what happens. So, unfortunate match for me. Uh, Tailwind and Breloom plus Burning Facade Kanga. Um, really sucks. I can't believe that happened. That was just mind boggling. It sucks that it was just a damage roll, too, because the first one I, I took down under half, so I thought the second one would definitely knock it out, which would have made this match a whole lot different, because I would have had Ludicolo to deal with Breloom and Su Suicune. Um, so, unfortunate loss in game one, so let's see if we can win game two. Um, in party. Um, so, I'm down to 1665 now. So, just as a side note, um, I think Mawile is the last Mega I have that I haven't used yet. Um, I actually, I know I have a Mega Pinsir as well that I could use as a rate. We have a 1650 rated player from Japan. Um, so, I need to breed some more Megas. I'm going to probably breed like a Pidgeot. Um, 
on a bomb of snow, stuff like that. Um, so my opponent's team is pretty cool looking. Uh, Mawile, Latias, Garchomp, Blaziken, Zapdos, and uh, Amoongus. So I'm looking at my opponent's team, obviously four potential Megas here with um, Latias, Mawile, Garchomp, and Blaziken. Um, my bet is probably that the Mawile is the Mega. Um, Garchomp definitely probably is not, and Blaziken most likely is not, and Latias most likely is not. Um, I'm guessing that Life Orbs on the Blaziken, uh, probably like Lum on the Garchomp. Latias probably has like Citrus or Leftovers or something. It's probably more support mode, and Mawile probably has the Mawile Light. So, again, I'm looking at my opponent's team, and Rain looks like a pretty good lead, to be honest. Um... I think I'm just going to lead Rain again. Uh, Ludicolo, Politoed. I'm going to bring Talonflame in the back uh, for Blaziken and Talonflame. Um, and I'm going to bring Mawile as well. Mawile should actually do really well in this matchup, I think. Um, pretty much the one thing that threatens the Mawile is the Garchomp and the Blaziken, but Rain deal with both of those really nicely. That's kind of the nice thing about Rain is Mawile's two weaknesses are... Only two weaknesses, right? Yeah, are uh, Ground and Fire. And Rain is super effective on both of those. So that's really why I think Mawile works so well in the Rain. That's why you see, I think, was it Colin had a Mawile in Rain for his world team? I think it was Colin. Colin Hire, Battle Room, um, had Mawile. I mean, a lot of teams had Mawile in Rain, but I mean, his was the most successful. Obviously, he got third at Worlds with it. Um, I think Alex Agloza used Mawile in his Rain team at, to win Nationals, but I'm not positive. So, Ludicolo and Politoed comes out. Um, whenever you see Ludicolo and Politoed on a team, like most of the time you can expect that that's what's going to come out. Um, just because of... I mean, you pretty much, I mean, you can expect Ludicolo and Politoed to come out because like that's just kind of like the auto lead. And it's actually really tough to beat because it's a really solid duo. Um, I'm actually going to bring a Kingdra soon, just so I can try mess around with that, and probably a Swampert as well. Um, so I think that the Protect Tailwind here is pretty obvious, so I'm going to Fake Out and Hydro Pump uh, Zapdos. As Protect comes out from Garchomp, perfect. Let's see if Zapdos protects too. Nope. So Fake Out comes off without a hitch. Let's see, is it Rocky Helmet? Nope. Hydro Pump. Yes, connects. Perfect. And it's citrus, okay. Alright, so. I really want to ice beam the guard shop, but I also think that that's pretty obvious. Um, what does my opponent have for switches into an ice beam? Probably Mawile. So Mawile can switch into an ice beam. Um, what else did he have? Latias can't. Blaziken can. I really want to scald that spot. I'm going to Ice Beam Zapdos with Ludicolo, and I'm going to Hydro Pump Garchomp spot. As Garchomp switches out. Oh, please bring in Blaziken. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a Moongus. <laughs> As Zapdos protects. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna double into a Moongus with a Hydro Pump and an Ice Beam. I really want to move this off the field. I don't want to switch though because I don't want to risk it sporing um, sporing something I switch in. I think Talonflame I'm gonna need in the back. Although Talonflame I don't know. I'm oh, sorry. So he doesn't even Rage Powder. So he's probably gonna go for the Spore. Let's see if Ice Beam picks up this KO. Oh please don't miss Hydro Pump. Oh thank God. So thank god that's off the field. But now Tailwind's gonna get set up. I'm guessing. Yep, so Tailwind is set up. I mean I'm still not I'm still in a pretty good position though because 
Garchomp doesn't really do anything to either of my Pokemon. And let's see if Mawile comes in. I only have one Hydro Pump left, unfortunately, because of the pressure from Zapdos, which really sucks. Uh, but neither of my Pokemon are taking any damage yet, which is also really nice. And I've already taken out one Pokemon, weak in a second. And that's not... It is going to be Mawile. Huh. So the question is, what do I do? So I think doubling the Mawile might be kind of obvious. Um, I'm going to Scald it with Ludicolo, and I'm going to Hydro Pump the Zapdos. So no switches. After this turn, I have to switch out Politoes, otherwise I'll be struggling, unless I get KO'd, KO'd here. Um, as Zapdos, of course, can go first because of the Tailwind. Thunderbolt is going to... I'm just going to survive. That's good. Oh, I'm going to get paralyzed. It doesn't really matter at this point, though. As Skull comes out, a burn here would be so huge. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Play Rough comes out on the Politoed. Good play. Alright, so... I'm going to bring in my own Mawile. Because um, at least this way I get the Intimidate off. Um, so, I'm just going, I'm in really good position here. My opponent really can't switch because I'm going to Scald Mawile spot. So if he switches in Garchomp, he's going to take a ton of damage. And I'm just going to play rough um, Zapdos' spot. Again, same issue. I could Sucker Punch Zapdos, but I don't think that'll KO. Especially because I don't run Max Attack on my Mawile. Um, so let's see. So Protect is going to come out from Zapdos. Let's see, is it going to be a double protect? Yeah, double protect. I probably, I think this is the last turn of rain. That's probably why. The rain stopped. Okay. That's not the worst thing, though, because now my Flare Blitzes will be effective from... Uh, Alright, so I'm just going to do the same move. My Flare Blitzes is going to be a lot more effective. The end, I think there's one turn left to Tailwind, so this Maw is probably going to outspeed my Ludicolo. But it's also at minus one. So we're we gonna see a double into the Ludicolo. Yeah, we're gonna see a double target into it. Will it KO? Probably not. Survives at 24. Perfect. Oh, awesome. I need this play rough to hit. If this play rough hits, it's I'm gonna be in really good shape. Awesome. So as you can see, the rain matchup for me was really good there. Um Due to the rain, I was basically able to pick up one KO and put other two other Pokemon in KO range for when the rain ran out. So now it's just Garchomp left. Um, I'm switching out Ludicolo for Talonflame because I'm expecting an Earthquake, and I'm just going to play rough. I should survive it. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, so Earthquake comes out. Perfect. Mawile does not survive that. Is it Life Orb? Yes, it is Life Orb, so that would be that issue. Um, but now I'm in really good shape. Um, I don't think Rough Skin will KO me here. Um, I doubt it will. So I'm going to Tailwind. Wait, how much does Rough Skin do? Is it 1 16th? If it's 1 16th, then I'm going to survive. So I'm just going to fake up. He's probably going to protect. And if he protects, it's game over. So that's game over. Because I just tailwinded, so now my Ludicolo will be faster next turn than the Scarchomp. Perfect. If he wanted to win that game, he would have the hope that I didn't fake him out, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to Brave Bird and Ice Beam. There's nothing he can do about it. So he goes for the double protect in case he's going to try and stall Tailwind. I mean, his only chance at this point would be to hope that somehow my Ludicolo is slower than his Garchomp, but I know for a fact it isn't. So, Because um, then he can just Rock Slide and end the game. He goes for a third protect, doesn't get it. So Brave Bird comes out. 
gonna do a lot of damage. So rough skin, rocky helmet, life orb is gonna do a lot of damage back to me. Which is the one downside to Town Flame is it's a suicide Pokemon essentially. Ice Beam comes out and is gonna pick up the KO. So um, first match didn't go so well. Second match went a lot better, and I think it really showcased why Mawile and Rain pair up so well together because they really complement each other well and took out each other's weaknesses. And I think when we throw Town Flame into that mix, it's a really solid team. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and breed some new Megas so I can use some new Pokemon soon. But until then, I'll probably just use like other Pokemon I've already used. Um, so hopefully, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Till next time, guys. Bye.